Ready for their first comic? Yeah. No, no, I'm not going to break up. Look, I'm the MC. you got to put up with me. I want to hear some applause. Energy, are you ready? All right, look, we're going to have some little uh, interesting interlude here today. I have a guy I brought along with me that wanted to come out and say hello to you for a moment or two. He's not like me, and he's a little bit different. He's uh, very shy about his looks. Matter of fact, he's always getting plastic surgery to improve his looks. So I want to give it out for the one and only Brad Pitt kind of handsome, Frank Babyface Stein. So how you doing there, Frank? Very good, very good. You know, Scott, I've had lights of psychotherapy. You have? Yes, I have. A matter of fact, my psychotherapist one day was giving a session to four young women and their children. He said, you all have obsessions. He turned to the first woman and said, your obsession is money. You have even named your child Penny. He turns to the second mother, your obsession is food. You have even named your child Candy. He turns to the third mother, your obsession is liquor. You think your child brandy? The fourth mother bends over to her child and says, Come on, Dick, listen, let's get out of here. He doesn't know what he's doing. Willie and Peter have to have dinner. Anyone married here or divorced? Anyone yeah. married, first of all? Married? And divorced. And divorced. Smart guy. All right, I was going to say you're a stupid ass, but that's okay. Anyone married here? Anyone married? Good, we got a smart crowd. I like that shit. That is much better. Say hello to the audience. Oh, hello. I feel very, very horny. It's nice to see everyone today. Ah, oh, what do you think I look like? A million bucks. You're gorgeous. I don't have any sex anymore. All I know how to do is masturbate. So all I do, anyone masturbates in this room? This guy looks like a smiling guy. All right, all right. The guy who's divorced and married, you know that shit, right? And uh, I'll tell you, the other day I'm getting dressed in the mirror. I'm looking at myself. I have a mirror in the front and a mirror in the back. And I, I'm naked, naturally, and I see my ass. And I said, you know what? This is the only ass I'm going to get. I'm going to masturbate. So I actually masturbate to my own ass. Can you believe that? I'm telling you the freaking truth. Imagine that. Do you have anything else to say? Well, yes, I like. I can't do this shit. Right. How many years were you married, buddy? Twenty-two. All right, a veteran. How do you feel now? Good. Well, my divorce isn't working out. Oh. <laughs> the next comedian is a very funny guy, very unusual. We really love him here. Give him some love. The one and only Gussie Bell. Ready for some comedy? Yeah. We heard enough about my life, right? It's depressing, isn't it? I'll tell you some more stuff later. We're going to have a good time. I promise you this. I want you to laugh. Enjoy yourself. Um, laughing is like almost going to the bathroom when it's stuck. Just let it out. You know what I mean? I don't know why they sell all these products to make you go to the bathroom. Metamucil, this, that, all that shit. White Castle, that's all you freaking need. You know that? You know what I'm talking about? You? Are you married? What's your name, by the way? I'm going to talk to you. Jill. Jill? I'm married to these two women. I'm Mormon. All right. Mormon? I love that. God bless you, man. All right. That's good, man. Okay. I know he's full of shit. He's probably gay, but that's okay. No. You gotta be cool about it. I'm a Mormon. Are you with the girl over here? Is this your girlfriend? My friend, yeah. Your friend says, bite me. I love that shirt, man. Honey. That's great. Any, anyone, any woman that wears a shirt that says, bite me, I like. And are you an actress? Yeah. Porno? No. <laughs> Working on it, that's right, I can get you. I can get you a good one. The guy that's filming in the back, we can do a, a good show, I'm telling you. That's right. You got a Mormon over here. He's screwing two or three women at a time. And he's, and he's gay. Yes. And my wife was a divorce lawyer, too. Could you imagine two divorce lawyers being married? Yeah. God is right. I'm surprised I didn't have a heart attack. I dropped dead already. She tried, believe me. She tried to kill me many a times. Now it's you what? Any Jews? That's a Jewish and Italian. Yeah, they marry. That's right. They do the same thing. They scream and fight. The only thing is the Italians kill each other. That's the difference. Yeah. Go to an Italian fight, one person's not going to walk out. Go to a Jew fight, someone's going to get some money, get sued, some shit. It's true. Anyone ever see that really weird blow-up guy you get on a, on a bachelor party that has that big mouth like... 
Don't have a job illegal. Of course, where are you from? What country? Staten Island country? Very good, very good. Beautiful country. Let's go to Staten Island country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What do you do for a living, man? I really am a lawyer. Are you? Oh, oh God, you just got ugly to me. No, I'm just kidding. That's true. We can hook it. We can talk later. All right. Uh, let's see. You ready for some more comedy? Yeah. You guys are great. Give yourself a hand, really. I love you guys. You're fantastic. You're what comedy's about. That's right.